This one's called Party Like It's Space 1999. <laughs> Having led myself astray through paradise the hard way, I found myself midway through life, meandering the backwaters of my mind. Heading from Sunset Beach to Sunrise Beach, a monolith of freedom made flesh. Walking barefoot, tie whiskey in a bucket, moving from one adventure to the next, like David Carradine in Kung Fu or David Bannon in the closing credits of the whole TV series, but without the melancholy. <laughs> Pulling a hottest lady chick at a beach party I arrived at, when the revellers drifted away, we sat together close to dawn, and I chose that moment to broach the subject of uh, Israeli cultural ethics in relation to Palestine. <laughs> and uh, I watched the day break alone. I often call in sick from the world of work, I once put into a manager on the way in. He said, how are you, Shane? I'm like, well, you know, still got in over the weekend. But Shane, it's Thursday. Indeed. <laughs> <laughs> Left to live in India forever and was only six weeks for a bit more rehab and a place long shut down for its nefarious practices. That's a whole other story. Oh, news. If I was only 20 years younger and a few stone lighter, I better get back on this horse before it becomes a habit worthy of a monk. When I saw a breakdown cover off in an email recently, my eyes lit up till I realised it was just from a car. <laughs> the other tune says, revolution. I have to just let some dreams fade though, face facts, no matter how much I wish I'm never going to be a Japanese old man. I do wonder though, whether my famous last words might just be, oh, that was a waste of time then. <laughs> Think. We'll end that one on that one. And let's do another one. Have we got time? Yeah. Yes, we have. Okay. Yeah, this is, anyway, it'll all make sense when you hear about it. Don't be an icon, a song for my sedentary soul. Sitting here, thinking of Beachy Head, with only Van Halen's jump playing for company, I consider what else these White Cliffs country for us. Perhaps Dover and those bluebirds. Is that the very essence of richness? It's certainly not those British values you might hear dribbled by the establishment. The dregs of mines cluttered with the deck chairs of imagined bracing beaches where the poles are still apart. Do you know these so-called British values have even provided in schools? Patting ourselves on the back with the dead hand of imperialism on a stick made from the forearm of a Sikh forefather who went over the top at the front all found us from behind at a discreet distance with the fronds of despair. But I can't help thinking of what real British values are and tips for thriving in our land. Always apologise if you bump into someone in the supermarket, especially if it wasn't your fault. Don't ever start a conversation with anyone you don't know. There are exceptions, of course, a bus or a train breaking down, if you've been waiting somewhere in close proximity for like a lift for a little too long, maybe a bus stop, or out early in the morning with a prop, like a dog or a kid or something. <laughs> or if you live in the north. But remember this, just mention whether it's too hot, cold, wet or windy, the leader's applicable. In a half historical manner, with a rising intonation. No other conversation is permissible. Obviously thanking the waiter and say how great the shit food was. <laughs> Disappearing, especially when you're in here. No, it was lovely, honestly. Disappearing in the crowd, no attention, please. Unless you were drunk or a bloke in a BMW, then you can add to twat. <laughs> you can open a shop with a silly name, a nice pun maybe, but only if it's a hairdresser's or a sandwich shop. Betty's big baps never fails to entertain. Never accept racism. The traditional natives are born of countless invasions and endless maraudings. Back when before we started exporting war, the white stock of this country are mongrels. That's why we're so ugly. An Englishman's throne is his toilet. I've been reading Pablo Neruda and love poetry on mine which, you know, somehow manages to be romantic and disgusting at the same time. Staring at my middle-aged red in the mirror, my life's been tied up nicely like a Gordian knot. 
England may be about to throw itself off Beachy Head, but I certainly will not. Thank you.